Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating a simple geometry in open foam. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a simple geometry, how to view the geometry in para view. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux operating system Ubuntu version 10.04, open foam version 2.1.0, para view version 3.12.0. In CFD, the pre-processing part consists of creating geometry and meshing it. Let us take the lead driven gravity case of the previous tutorial as an example. Recall the path for the earlier tutorial. I have already opened the command terminal and entered the path for lead driven cavity. There are three folders, zero, constant and system. Geometry is inside the polymesh folder of constant. In the command terminal type cd space constant and press enter now type ls and press enter in this there is another folder called as polymesh now type cd space polymesh and press enter now type ls and press enter this contains the geometry file called as block mesh dict Open the block mesh dict file with any editor of your choice. In the terminal, type gedit space block mesh dict. Note that MNDRR capital and press enter. Let me drag this to the capture area. Now, minimize this and let me switch back to the slide. In open foam, the entire geometry is broken into blocks. The blocks are numbered starting from 0 as shown in the figure. Note that in open foam, for creating a 2D geometry, you need to give a unit cell thickness value in the Z axis. Lid driven cavity is of length 1 and height 1. Minimize the slide. On your desktop, create an empty file by right click, create document, empty file. Name this as block mesh dict. Note that MNDR are capital. Open this. Now copy the data from the original lid driven cavity block mesh dict file to the new block mesh dict file from line 0 scroll up line 0 up to convert to meters copy this and paste it here scroll down now leave sp some space after convert to meters enter 1 as the geometry is in meters Insert a semicolon and press enter. Again press enter. In the file, type vertices and press enter. Insert the open bracket and press enter. Press the tab key. Start with point zero. Insert open close brackets. Enter zero space zero space zero and press enter again press tab key open close bracket move towards point 1 in the positive x axis and enter 1 space 0 space 0 and press enter again press the tab key open close bracket move towards point 2 in the positive xy plane and enter 1 space 1 space 0 Press enter, again press the tab key, open close bracket, enter the third point in positive y axis, 0 space 1 space 0, press enter, again press the tab key, enter the fourth point on the front face, open close bracket, 0 space 0 space 0 0.1 and press enter. Similarly, enter the other points with one unit value in the positive z axis. Close the bracket and insert a semicolon after it. 
प्रेस एंटर अगेन प्रेस एंटर बिलो वर्टाइसिस आर द ब्लॉक्स टाइप ब्लॉक्स एंड प्रेस एंटर इंसर्ट ओपन ब्रैकेट एंड प्रेस एंटर लेट मी स्विच बैक टू द स्लाइड नोट दैट लिट ड्रिवेन कैविटी इज टेकन एज अ सिंगल ब्लॉक लेट मी स्विच बैक टू ब्लॉक मिश डेक एंटर द पॉइंट फॉर द ब्लॉक इन द क्लॉक वाइज सेंस वी आर यूजिंग यूर एक्सा एड्रल ब्लॉक्स फॉर मैशिंग नाउ टाइप हेक्स एच ई एक्स लीव सम स्पेस एंड ब्रैकेट एंटर जीरो स्पेस वन स्पेस टू स्पेस थ्री स्पेस फोर स्पेस फाइव स्पेस सिक्स स्पेस सेवन अगेन लीव सम स्पेस नोट दैट फॉर मल्टीपल ब्लॉक्स The points will be more. After this, enter the grid points in the x, y, and z direction. In brackets, open close bracket. Enter 30 space 30 space 1. Leave some space. You can modify the grid as and when needed. Grid point in the z axis can be taken as 1. Now, leave some space. and type simple grading leave some space open close bracket enter 1 space 1 space 1 this is the grid spacing in the x y and z direction press enter insert close bracket insert a semicolon and press enter again press enter now type edges and press enter as this is a simple geometry edges can be kept empty insert open bracket press enter close the bracket insert a semicolon and press enter again press enter below edges are the boundary conditions here you need to enter the boundary names for the faces type boundary and press enter insert a open bracket and press enter now let me switch back to the slides in the geometry the upper wall is moving and other three walls are fixed the front and back faces are named as empty as this is a 2d problem open the new block mesh tick file again in boundary put the name of the patch as moving wall press enter now insert a open curly bracket and press enter now enter the type for the moving wall enter type space wall insert a semicolon and press enter now insert open bracket and press enter press the tab key open close bracket in this bracket enter the points for faces Now let me switch back to the slide. Note that the order of the points should be in such a way that the thumb should be normal to the face and fingers making a curl as shown in the figure. The curl can be clockwise or anticlockwise. Also note that the points should match with the points inserted in vertices. Now let me switch back to the new block mesh dict file. Now in the faces enter 3 space 7 space 6 space 2 let me switch back to the slide these are the point for the moving wall 3 7 6 2 minimize this note that you can start from any point on that face now press enter close the bracket again press enter close the curly bracket another note you need to enter a semicolon after you insert the points for faces now after the curly brackets press enter again press enter now similarly enter boundary condition and faces for the fixed walls being a 2d problem the type of boundary for the front and back faces can be kept as empty refer to the figure in the slide for entering the points minimize this insert the close bracket put the semicolon and press enter again press enter now type 
merge patch pairs and press enter. Since there are no patches to be merged, it can be kept empty. Insert open close brackets, insert a semicolon and press enter. We are done with creating the block mesh dict file. Save this. The complete block mesh dict file is as shown here. Close both the block mesh dict files. Note that the command terminal will not work until the block mesh dict file is closed. Switch back to the terminal. Now type cd space dot dot twice to return back to the cavity folder. Now mesh the geometry. To do this in the terminal type block mesh and press enter. Now view the geometry by typing in the command terminal paraform and press enter. This will open the para view window. Now on the left hand side click apply on the object inspector menu. As you can see the geometry. Now let me switch back to the slides. In this tutorial we learned Creating a simple geometry in open form. Viewing the geometry in para view. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. As an assignment, change the dimensions of lid driven cavity. Change the grid size to 50, 51 and view the geometry in para view. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have a good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this URL. This is Rahul Joshi from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.